Hi guys! Today I have a subscriber requested tutorial for you. We're going to make a miniature replica of Rick's hatchet from The Walking Dead. This is a super simple tutorial using a brand new product that I recently just discovered. Let's get started. The first thing I do is grab a quarter inch round dowel. This will form the handle of the hatchet. I measure two and a quarter inches from one end and make a mark there. Then I draw the shape of the handle I want in that section. I make an angle on the bottom and draw on the two sides. As you can see, the top of the handle starts out thin and it gradually gets thicker at the bottom. Then slowly carve out that shape. Basically, I keep thinning out the dowel until I get the shape I want. Be patient here, you never want to rush anything that involves a sharp knife. Now at this point, you can detach the handle from the dowel, but I'm keeping it on so I have more control. For the head, I'm using some moldable plastic. This brand is Instamorph and it's basically plastic beads that melt in boiling water. Once they melt, it turns clear and forms into a clay-like substance that you can shape into whatever you like. I just pour some boiling water in a cup and throw a few beads into the water. As you can see, the white plastic turns clear as it sits in the hot water. After about a minute or two, I pull them out with a fork. Let it cool for a second so you don't burn yourself, and begin to mush it together. Wrap the plastic around the top of the handle. Try to work quickly because this stuff hardens as it cools. And the handle snapped off the dowel. Man, that startled me. Keep pulling the plastic away from the handle and flattening it. Once it's close to the shape you want, use a scissor to cut a curve into the plastic. This will form the blade of your hatchet. Keep shaping the plastic until you get your desired look. Here you can see I pulled the plastic at the back to create a sharp point. Notice how it turns back to white once it's hardened. If at any point you need to redo something, you can dip the plastic back into the water and reshape it. This stuff is very forgiving. You can slip the head right off the handle once it's hardened. To smooth out any imperfections, I just sand the plastic. Then to make the edge of the blade sharp, I use my knife to thin out the plastic only at the edge. Let's paint the handle. To create a cherry color stain, I mix some dark brown with red. Paint that on. To seal the color in, I add on a coat of polyacrylic varnish. For the head of the hatchet, I'm using some silver nail polish. You can also use acrylic paint, spray paint, enamel, really anything. I just love the look of this nail polish, so that's what I'm going with. I paint on a few coats for a smooth look. Looking pretty good. Okay, let's attach the head to the handle. I use some E6000 glue and add a drop of it to the handle, then slip the head on. I also made some smaller heads without the point in the back for some shorter handles. It's the exact same process. That's it, super easy project. I hope you guys liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and make sure to subscribe for more. I have two new videos every single week. See you next time. Bye.